When Vicky Brown from Cardiff was diagnosed with advanced melanoma two years ago, she thought she might have just months to live. But a combination of two immunotherapy drugs cleared tumours from her breast and lung. Her passion is travel, and she's just returned from holiday in Florida. I feel extremely fortunate that I was in the right time at the right place to be offered this trial. Um, I mean, it's given me two more years with my granddaughter and um, I've managed to travel. I've just come back from two, a week with some friends in Tampa. Vicky is part of an international trial led by the Royal Marsden Hospital and Institute of Cancer Research. The drug combination stopped cancer progressing for a year in nearly 60% of patients. What's different about the drugs Vicky was given is that they don't kill cancerous tissue themselves, but rather enable our immune system to do so. Within our bodies is an army of cells designed to destroy any organism which poses a threat, but spare healthy tissue. Cancer cells, which are corrupted copies of normal human tissue, can sometimes be difficult for those killer cells to identify. And in some cases, they inhibit the immune response through a chemical handshake on the cell surface. The new drugs block the handshake, so the killer cells see the cancer for what it is. The immune system is reprogrammed to destroy the cancer. This is a time of dramatic development in cancer treatment and immunotherapy will be a key part of a new era of smarter, more targeted drugs. 40 years ago, only one in four patients survived cancer. Now it's one in two. And with these new treatments coming on, with the more research we're doing, we're getting faster and faster. And it's our hope that in 20 years time, three in four patients will survive. And these immunotherapy treatments are gonna be a part of that puzzle. Vicky Brown will soon need more immunotherapy to clear another tumour on her lung. So it is far too early to talk about curing cancer. Nonetheless, these treatments are among the most exciting developments in cancer therapy for years. Fergus Walsh, BBC News.